welcome back. I thought that I would step in and do a talking video with you all today to keep you updated on all kinds of things that's going on. So many people say, Gina, where you been? Gina, where you been? We miss you. You ain't doing lives no more, right? And so in this video, I'm going to talk about why I haven't been doing lives, when I'm going to come back to doing lives, and what's been going on in my life. So uh, that's what this video is going to be about. And happy holidays, everybody. I hope you all are getting ready for the holidays. I hope you all are excited for the holidays. If you didn't know, this month, Gina Young is going to be putting out all the videos for holiday, all holiday recipes. Any recipe you're looking for for the holiday, Gina Young's your girl. Gina Young's going to show you how to make it from homemade dressing to baked macaroni. I'm going to show you how to make the greens. I'm going to show you how to make a juicy turkey. I'm going to show you how to make a couple holiday desserts that you will love. You're going to be the star of your holiday dinner table this year, trust me. All you gotta do is make sure that you are subscribed to Gina Young's channel. Make sure you click on the notification bell so you can get a notification anytime Gina Young uploads one of these amazing holiday recipes this November and December. So many of you all have told me, Gina, like I miss you so much. And I just wanna tell you guys that I miss you too. I miss you all like crazy. I really do. I appreciate the emails, the messages, all the love you guys send me. I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, I do. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of where I have actually been. I've been here. I ain't been doing too much, but I tell you what, you, well, you know, I've been putting out videos every day for you all. Um, but let's talk about it. So Remember, you all know the moving process and how extremely tired I was after moving. I mean, it, it, was, it was a journey. It was a journey, right? And I thought that I was extremely tired from moving. I had some blood work done and I looked over um, the, the result of my uh, hemoglobin. And my blood count, you all that are familiar with me, you know that I have low iron. I'm severely anemic, right? And, and so this is nothing new. This should be nothing shocking unless you are like a new subscriber that doesn't really know me. So my iron levels or hemoglobin, I can't distinguish the two, has been known to get down to a number two. And that's really bad. And so in 2010, I had to have a blood transfusion because it was so low. So a couple of years ago, I'd like to say two or three years ago, or maybe two years ago, I started getting iron infusions two times a year. And it helps my iron number to stay up high so I can just, uh, so I can live, <laughs> basically, so I can feel well. When my iron gets low, I ain't no good. I ain't no good. So my iron level was low and I didn't know it. And so a lot of you may say, so what? What actually happens when your iron level gets low? How do you feel, Gina? Let's talk about it. I feel horrible. I feel horrible. I feel like I'm walking. Uh, well, I'm not going to say that. I feel horrible. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, okay? I feel horrible. What happens? My eyes get blurry. I have a constant headache. Low energy. And when I say low energy, like minute. Zero energy, okay? And uh, I've been pushing through it, just thinking that I was tired. So come to find out my iron levels were low. But what's great is in the past, last year and the year before, my iron levels was much lower than what it is now. Okay, so that's great news for me because typically they would see it get down to five and six. It was actually like an eight or a nine or something this time, which is great, which means the iron infusions that I've been getting for these past couple years is working, you, you know, and I was actually able to go a year and like three months without an iron infusion. But I, what I have to realize and, and remember when I start feeling this way, I don't want to be confused. I want to remember, oh, it's my iron. 
time to go get an iron infusion. So I have had my first iron infusion last week. Yesterday, I had an appointment to go get the second iron infusion. They couldn't find a vein. They say my veins are the smallest veins you could ever try to look for. They go and find a pick guy that specializes in, uh, you know, doing IVs and stuff like that. He was extremely busy. And so when I went to this appointment, I waited two hours and they said, he's in, the guy is in ICU. They say he's extremely busy. Do you want to reschedule? So I had to reschedule on Tuesday. Looks like I'm going to get an iron infusion Tuesday early morning. So, and every time I go to the doctors, they need the special person to come in uh, to find my vein with the infrared light and all that, or the little x-ray thing to find my veins because they're extremely so tiny. So I'm waiting on this second iron infusion and um, they do tell you it takes about a month to really get going in your system and you start feeling the results. Okay, so that's what's been going on. And here, here's the thing. I would love to go live with you guys. I love to do tons and tons of videos, but I'm not going to like overwork myself when I ain't feeling good. And I don't want to go live when I ain't feeling good, right? And then I give you guys just a, mm, you know, a mm, live and, and, and I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get off. I want to be able to come live with you all, talk with you all, have a great time when I'm feeling well. So, so that's why I haven't been doing them. And then, see, here's the thing. I, I, every Saturday I've been wanting to go live, but I said, I don't want to post um, a, com a community post saying, hey, Jeannie Young's going to go live and I'm going to show you all how to make spare ribs. But what if I don't feel good? Then I have to cancel it and everybody's all upset. People done went out and bought ingredients to cook with me, right? So I, I think for now, what I'm going to do until I begin to feel better is if I decide to do a live, I'll just do a pop-up live. And if you show up, you know, you do that way. I'm not letting anybody down. So let's wait till the iron gets going. Um, I begin to feel a bit better and, and things like that. In the meantime, between time, we are working on getting back in the gym. Yes, getting back in the gym, staying healthy, living a healthy lifestyle, and putting God first in everything that we do in life. So now if we can get back to the iron really quickly, let me tell you how things have been going. Um, so here's how it works. Um, when your iron is extremely low like mine's is, I'll, work up, I'll wake up feeling absolutely amazing. Get up, get dressed, take a shower, uh, do my makeup and everything. Get, re get ready to do a video. And then after using the energy, moving around, walking, just doing uh, life, <laughs> right? Couple hours later, I feel like I've been up for 24 hours with no sleep, just tired as you could ever be. And then I have to go lay down, seriously. Then I have to go lay down for a couple hours to gain that energy back up. So that's how bad it is, right? And so my plan is to do this video that I'm doing right now, that you're seeing right now, and then later showing you all how to make holiday uh, gravy, the gravy that everybody lives for. You can't have a holiday without this gravy. My plan is to do it today, right over there in that pot right there. I got some turkey that's been cooking that I want to use that that broth in there to make this beautiful gravy. But here's the thing, I gotta have the energy to do it. Okay, so these are these videos you've been seeing, that that's times that I had that hour of energy and I was able to, <laughs> you know. But I'm gonna help y'all get ready for the holidays. Any recipe that you're looking for, Gina Young is your girl. I do it every year. Last November, I had my um mommy makeover where I had um, the breast lift and the tummy tuck. And um, I have had my yearly visit with my plastic surgeon and uh, we talked about some really interesting stuff. So I'll tell you guys all about that, but I think that'll be like in another video. So now, the gravy will come out to you all today if I'm feeling well. Okay, so that's my plan, but I would like to know 
in the bottom of this comment section. Let me know what recipe are you looking for. Are you the person that needs a recipe for baked macaroni? Do you need a recipe for spare ribs for the holiday? Do you need a recipe for how to make a juicy turkey? What are you looking for a recipe for? What's one of your favorite childhood recipes that you had, you know, um, for your holiday and you need to know how to make it and you might be kind of afraid to, to make it? Tell me, okay? Tell me what it is and I'll make it for you. I can't answer everybody's you know, request, but I can answer a, a, a whole lot of them. And I'm excited to do this. This is what I love to do. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of people worry that they're not gonna see a turkey video. You're gonna see a turkey video for me. I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious turkey. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the simple way. All right, so, so no worries about that. Dakota loves this new school. He loves this new school. He feels like he's going to get the honor roll. Um, and I'm so super excited. He has made new friends and he's all excited. So that really makes me happy. It seems like he's got a great school. I'm ready to start Christmas decorating. Have you started? I, I know a couple people in the comment section told me, Gina, I done got my tree up already. We done put lights up. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am so ready and I want to see how this new neighborhood decorates. I could just imagine it's going to look like a winter wonderland out here. I know it is. So this is super exciting to see how this neighborhood decorates and um, what we're going to decide to do this year when it comes to decoration. I'm still trying to figure out where we're going to put our tree. I was thinking about putting a tree in the sunroom. I was thinking about it and thinking about putting one in the living room. Or maybe the other living room. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But when we get it all done, we're going to show you. We're going to show you. I'm so excited. But the thing is, I got to get them. I got to get Dakota and my husband to start dragging out all those Christmas decorations. I absolutely love this new kitchen. I love this new kitchen. This new kitchen is perfect. I don't have to wear a microphone and hear all the negative comments about people saying, Gina, it's an echo at the last house. That's all they said. Gina, it's an echo. We can't hear you. Yeah, you know, that, that, and it was the worst. You got to plug in the microphone. If the microphone's not charged, you can't use it. When the microphone, uh, you know, when the charge leaves, you have to charge the microphone while you're using it. It was just the worst. But with this kitchen, it is perfect. No echo. It is just the great. We are loving this new home and we plan on making so many great memories here. We've really been spending a lot of time together just enjoying this new home. Um, the, the rec room or the lower level, it's, it's just great. We really enjoy the sunroom. The dogs, they just love the backyard. And with the backyard being fenced in, they can just run. They have a good old time. If you don't even want to come inside, I'm like, get your butt in here. And there's dogs next door. And, and they're barking with our dogs. And they're huge dogs too, but they're amazing. And those dogs will come outside. They will. It's two big dogs. They'll come outside and they'll bark. You can tell it's not an angry, vicious bark. They'll bark for our dogs to come out. We'll let them out, and then they're up against the fence. <laughs> At some point, we have to say, get, get in here. <laughs> you know, but they are having a great time. They look a mess because they need to get a haircut. They need to get shampooed, a haircut, nails cut, and things like that. So we're going to schedule that. But before we schedule that, they have updated shots that they have to get. So it would be great. It would be absolutely awesome if Saturday I could go live and we could have a splendid time. But like I said, y'all, uh, the way this iron is going. Now, here's the thing. So let's just talk about uh, yesterday. Yesterday, I went to go get the iron infusion. I was there for two hours, came home. I told my husband, I said, I ain't got no energy. I'm done for today. He said, honey, go lay down. I went and I laid down in the living room on that new... Uh, uh, pull out chair, whatever you call it, the recliner. 
And I laid down for about two and a half hours and I got back up and I said, baby, I feel amazed. It's just about when I use the energy, the energy quickly leaves. Um, so I said, baby, I feel amazing. And so we did the video. <laughs> we turned around, did the video. And then like an hour after the video, I was done for the rest of the night. So, <laughs> so that's how things have been going. I love you. I know you guys love me and I appreciate you all. Listen, tell your family and friends and everyone, you know, tell the whole world about Tina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. This was a nice uh, rant update <laughs> about things that's going on and how I'm feeling and where I've been and when I'm going to come back to live, you know, doing lives again. But uh, just give me some time. Just give me some time. All right. This is, hold on guys. I had something in my tooth. This is what I love to do and I can't wait to get my energy back and so we can, you know, really rock and roll. Uh, in the meantime, between time, I am drinking some, this is the apple cider vinegar that I told you all about. You may know that I've told you about it before. Apple cider vinegar, the Bragg's that has the mother in it and um, two, teaspoons or or what did I do did I do a tablespoon <laughs> of lemon in warm water and you drink it with um, a straw because you don't want that lemon on the enamel of your teeth um, but I drink it and it really helps you to have a, a healthy gut it helps you to feel better helps you to digest really well but but I really enjoy drinking this might not taste the best but it make you feel good all right, I love you from the bottom of my heart. God bless. Thanks for watching and listen. I ain't forgot about y'all. And also, I ain't forgot about my new channel, Healthy Recipes with Gina. If you haven't checked that channel out, feel free to check it out. I put amazing videos out, but the reason why I haven't got back over there yet is because, like I said, I'm dealing with this iron situation, but there is a God that's going to get, hey, everything's coming back into play. Everything, my iron levels is going to go back up. I'll be back over there on that channel making healthy recipes, Gina Young style. Okay, so just give me, give me some time, y'all. I love you. God bless. Good night.